In a test of a gender selection technique, results consisted of 274 baby girls. Let's write that down. Let's see, 274 girls and 294 baby boys, so 294 boys. Based on this result, what is the probability of a girl born to a couple using this technique? And then it goes on to ask a follow-up question, which we'll read later. So the probability that a girl will be born. Okay, so we want the probability, it's kind of a cool question, of a girl. It's a little bit harder. It's a fraction. So the probability of picking a girl is the number of ways to pick a girl divided by the number of ways to pick a, um, a person. So there are 274 girls, so there are 274 ways to pick a girl. To figure out the number of ways to pick a person, we have to add, right? So we have to add the number of girls, which is 274, to the number of boys, which is 294. Okay, I should have a calculator here, let's see. Yes, yes I do. All right, so 274 plus 294, so 568 ways to pick a person. So 568 ways to pick a person. So that's the total that goes on the bottom, okay? So the probability of picking a girl is the number of ways to pick a girl divided by the number of ways to pick a result. The total always goes on the bottom, always. So putting this in the calculator, it's 274 divided by 568. So 0.48, and it wants three decimals, so that would be 0.482, okay, 0.482, I'm gonna write that down. So the answer here would be 0.482. Good stuff. All right, so we type that in. So that's the probability of getting a girl. Does the technique appear effective in improving the likelihood of having a baby girl? No, no, it does not, right? If it was 50%, we would say, okay, there's a 50-50 chance, so not effective. If it was like 54, like 0.54, then we would say yes, right, because that's greater than a 50% chance. But this is a less than 50% chance of having a girl, so it's almost like it makes it ineffective. Um, so I'm going to say, no, it's not effective. And that's it.